So I fished this hole a couple times. I have Euro jigged it from above over there. I have Euro jigged it from here over into that area. I traditionally nymphed it over into that pocket. I was down by those branches and Euro jigged it back down into the tail end of that white foam. It gets to where it wants to go. But I have yet to streamer fish it. So I thought I would at least show how there's a bunch of different ways you can fish one hole and you don't have to be married up to one technique. So I'm going to cast this on the contralateral side of that seam, let my fly line drift down and then strip it right on through here. I'm using two woolly buggers. I'm using a, a green one and a black one. And I have a six IPS Versa leader on here attached directly to my fly line. It's about like seven feet long. And then I have two feet of 4X uh, fluorocarbon tippet. And my trailer is about another foot and a half. And I have simple loop knots to both of them to give them a little more action. Just gonna look behind me. I have some good casting spots. So that six IPS Versa leader will really allow my flies to drift down and sink a lot quicker than just regular old leader. Get that down in there, allow my fly to kind of just get swooped down in there. So my technique as I'm stripping it back in is not only am I stripping it, but I'm also moving my rod tip frantically, erratically, making some movements just to kind of make it act as if it's a minnow in distress. And when I'm going through these faster riffles, I'll just kind of allow it to just kind of pause. I'll pause it, I'll bring my fly rod tip down, and that kind of acts as if, you know, a fish is coming up, and then it runs out of energy and then drifts down. Maybe move down a little bit and work this seam right here. Try to get it right at the tail end of this pile of brush. Ooh, all right, that was a hit. Let's get that back down in there again. When you're streamer fishing, you have to be very careful you don't trout set the hook. You kind of have to just keep stripping it, just like that. Ah, oh, fart. All right, let's try this again. Someone's back there and they want that, they'll take it again. You just kind of have to keep strip setting it. And you can't really set the hook like you are setting the hook for a, you know, whether you're nymphing or something like that, when your indicator takes a dip or when someone takes your dry fly, you kind of lift your fly up in the air really quick. I'm still kind of maneuvering my rod tip frantically and then that pause, right? So that little pause kind of allows your flies to sink down and that sometimes causes some frantic instinct. So you know, I'm just erratically pulling my fly line in, erratically moving my rod tip. And if that doesn't work, then what I'll do is I'll switch it up and I'll do it very slowly. I'll just strip it in slow. So this time I'll strip it in slow. You never know what they want that day. Sometimes they want fast erratic motion. Other times they just want nice and slow. So let me just do nice and slow. Just bring it in nice and slow. Ah! I didn't want to say anything because I didn't think that it was actually acting like a trout, but I didn't know what it was. <laughs> then I'll just do quick. Maybe someone wants it quick through there. Nice little short little hops there. Maybe someone wants it like that. Maybe they're further down. Maybe I need to shoot my flies way down in there. There we go. I'm way down at the bottom of that hole. Let's see if maybe they're down there. Ah, oh, they are. They are down there. All right. We took the black woolly bugger. Get it in this faster current here. There we go. Pretty fish, nice spots.
get this out here. Let's do a nice little release. Let's do a release into this faster current here. 